welcome back to my channel my name is joe the joe anderson whichever one you want to call me for those who don't know i just moved into my apartment actually not just moved into it but i moved into my first apartment and today i'm going to be giving you guys an apartment tour so i'll show you what i have so far how much the things cost and i'll be needing like some suggestions on what you guys think i should add or remove so let's get right into the video I do have some shoes right here next to the front door which is full when people take off their shoes because I don't allow shoes in my apartment which a lot of people do not like but listen I understand a lot of people don't you know want to show you the socks they got on today it might be a bad day but are you gonna help me mop this apartment no so you might as well take your shoes off but yeah so um that's what people take their shoes off at and I'll turn the camera around I'll flip back and forth so you guys can see me and see what I'm saying and then I'll just show you guys exactly what I'm showing you I guess but yeah okay so next to my front door this is my inventory closet which oh, which is full of inventory right now I'll be doing like markdowns and stuff and discounts on my website which is shopijl.com um for those for those who don't know, I actually sell travel wear and accessories for women like myself. So whatever you need to travel, you need to pack your bags, I got you covered. Go ahead over to shopijl.com and that'll get you right. So this is my kitchen, um, which I actually need this stool for because this stool adds an extra 12 inches, well, an extra foot, so that I can reach these tall cabinets. So yeah. Going right here, I have the washer and dryer inside of my unit, which makes which makes so much noise. Um, I normally just put my clothes and stuff inside the washer and dryer, and then I leave out because the noise that this makes, it makes so much noise, I'm just like kind of over it sometimes. Because when I'm watching TV or something, like the vibration is just too much. Like I have to keep turning the TV up to hear it. Like it's, it's a lot. But yeah, so then of course you have the microwave the stove everything da, 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 da. but here i have a easy care plant which was a gift from my co-workers because this is my one year anniversary this is my one year anniversary in new york so i got that as a gift i have this magic bullet which i use all the time to make smoothies and this magic bullet was a gift from my dad i don't know how much he paid for this but i'll put the link below so you guys can find it i guess he got this probably from amazon so moving on to this side of the counter i actually got this burj khalifa statue well burj khalifa replica from Burj Khalifa Dubai um this is the tallest building in the world so I got this as a souvenir and it was $14 which is AED 54 um that I actually went to Dubai in when did I go to Dubai I went to Dubai in August which was one of the best vacations I had well one of the best vacations I ever had so far so I love that vacation. If you guys get the chance to, you know, travel somewhere, definitely go to Dubai because it was nice. Um, right here I have this perfume bottle. Now, if you ask me why I have this in my kitchen, I have no idea. And you guys, please excuse the nails because we are on quarantine. <laughs> so I just try to get this content out to you guys. But I got this from Hobby Lobby. It's like a perfume bottle that has no perfume in it and it's $15 so I just pretty much didn't know where to put it but I like the color so I just put it in the kitchen um, I have an ornament from my cat that just died his name was midnight so I got this from my co-workers as well and my co-workers my co-workers pretty much always like buy me stuff because I don't know all of them are pretty much older than me so they kind of treat me like I'm near little baby or something like that. So yeah, they always get me stuff. Um, right here I have this souvenir from Dubai as well. It just has my name and they put the sand inside and closed it up. So that's it for that. So next I'll be showing you guys what is on top of my bar counter. Everything that's on top of my bar top is already pretty much set up for dinners um when my family comes over we either eat here or they sit on my couch 
which um or they sit on my couch if we're watching like a movie or something like that so i got this i love this set but it still has the paper on it i gotta like find something to scrape that off with from the sticker that was on it the price sticker so i got this i got this dinner set for i think 15 dollars a set so i have four and i have the silverware as well well the silverware from aliexpress which was five dollars a piece um i love this spoon so much a lot of people are like where did you get this stuff from because the spoons are actually weird but i love them and i got this from Pier One, which is, uh, I don't even know what kind of cup this is, to be honest. It might be like a mini martini cup or something. I have no idea. But I got it from Pier One for, I think this was $20. So I bought a set of four or, yeah, it was like $24 or something like that. But I don't know. But the cup was so cute, I just had to get it. And they do have a lot of these um, in a different style that has the bedazzle at the bottom. So I might go back to get some more different ones uh just because now it's spring so i might try that out um next right here i have these full boss stools which i got from burlington's for 40 dollars a piece and let me just tell you guys the craziest thing about picking up bar stools i live by myself so it's like i have to i had to pick everything up one by one well actually i picked them up two at a time and I needed help like getting them in my car. I had to make two runs to Burlington because I couldn't get these offline. I pretty much just had to, I got them out of the store. So it was just so crazy how I had to get these in my car and like bring them up the steps and all of that stuff. So I got these for $40 from Burlington's and they have the colors white and black as well. And I was thinking like, maybe I should get the white ones. I was actually supposed to get the white ones and yeah, get the white ones. And then I'm just like, okay, I have a white couch. So why would I get white chairs? Like, that's just crazy. So why would I do that? So instead, I just ended up getting the gray ones, which I have right here. So next, I'm moving on to this mirror, which I got the other day from Target. Uh, the dimensions are, the dimensions are 60 by 20. I didn't even know my lace was lifting. This is why I, I need to hurry up and get this quarantine over with. Like, I'm ready for us to be back working so I can get all of this stuff together, get my nails and my hair done. But yeah, I got this mirror from Target. Uh, this mirror was $70. And y'all know these mirrors like this, um, that are big like this, go for about, I'm guessing, $200 and up. So the fact that I got this for $80, that was cool with me. Like, you know, I love that. Um, and I was going to get another lamp to go right here, but I figured since I already have these lights, that light, that light, and the one above that I didn't need any more light. I just pretty much got that for decoration because I wasn't even going to get that in the first place anyway. But I just needed a mirror because when people come over my house, um... When they're in the bathroom or something and I need to do my hair and makeup, I just sit right here. Well, I could just sit right here and get it done while they're in the bathroom taking, doing whatever they're doing. So right here, I got these from Amazon. Um, everything in this video, everything in this video, I pretty much put below in the description box. So um, unless it's not, in, in, um, unless it's not online you know but right here i got these tables here and there um from amazon they were 30 dollars. and to be honest the way my living room is pretty much set up right now i try to keep it like monotone modern just with a little hint of me because i'm pretty much a simple person everything that i do is pretty much st straightforward so my living room just pretty much says my personality like it's 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 simple but it's a little extra it's a little extraness to it just a little bit so i do have this um you know glass table i got this from these coasters that's here and there as well um i got these from hobby lobby and they were five dollars um this little box right here is from forever fabulous lingerie so this was their packaging but i loved it so much i just had to keep it but the box is a little messed up but whatever we just gonna act like we don't see it so right here um i have my couch which was 
I think a thousand and some change, but don't mind me. I was just sitting right there on the couch. So that's why it has the lines in it. But um, yeah, I got this for a thousand dollars at Raymond Flanagan. So I pretty much figure it's a white leather couch. So it's going to be expensive, but I know I'm a very clean person. So that was just fine with me. I can easily keep it clean. And the pillow was actually something that went with my bedroom set, which you guys will see later on in the video. I just liked it right there. Um, right here, I have my paintings of abstract. I actually painted these because um, I didn't know, well, I couldn't find a cheaper, I couldn't find a cheaper um, three series painting, I guess. So I ended up buying these canvases from Hobby Lobby, which were $30 each. And I bought the paint and stuff, but instead of paying $90, it was $50 off because they always have like these little sales and stuff. So I got it for about $40 and I threw it together, hung it up with the command strips, which was, the command strips were about like, I guess $8. So that was cool. I didn't want to put too many nails in my wall or anything. So, yeah. So, I got those for $40 in total. Painted it. Threw it up. And that was done. Right here, I have my carpet, which is white as well. Um, everything is pretty much white and flowy, I guess. Um, I got this from Marshalls for $80. And I don't know how big it is. I can't really can't remember. But it just fit right with the couch as well as this I, as well as my paintings I try to make them as wide as the couch just so it can look not too small I'll give you guys a front view so yeah I try not to make it look too small um you know if I just would have squished them together like I try to divide it out evenly so I like that that's I like that it was it was real cute to me so I just left it like that um on the other side I still have this table from Amazon which was $30 as well so I spent 60 on both um, same coaster and I got this as well of course like the one in the kitchen I got this from Hobby Lobby too and this was $11 well $12 I didn't know where to put this either so I'm just like okay let me just put it in the living room because at the end of the day I don't know now this picture right here I'm actually thinking about hanging it up now let me show you the picture I'm actually thinking about hanging this up because um it matches that box that was over there and i got this as a gift from a guy that i was talking to um i pretty much got this from a guy that i was talking to which he was really nice enough to you know get me this that i was he's saying that i was looking at it for a while so he ended up buying it and i'm thinking about we're well, thinking about buying two more to hang up here possibly um to go with I don't know i just want to change my living room to be like springish so in this picture is from society six and i think the picture is at size extra large so of course they charge by sizes so um i think this was like 70 dollars yeah 70 dollars or something like that but i love it this picture is uh the two tigers in palm springs which i plan on visiting one day maybe for my birthday after this quarantine is over because this quarantine let me just tell you, baby, um, 2020 just needs to go in the trash right now. But yeah, so right here is my printer that I use for shipping out orders. I can't even put that back in. Um, I got this from Best Buy for $60. And yeah, so I just use it for shipping out my packages. And of course, I got this lamp from Target for... Uh, I think the lamp was $80, but I ended up getting it for $50 because it was on sale for Christmas. Um, right here, I have my two footstools that I got for Christmas from my grandmother, who when she comes over, she sits on the couch. She likes to put her feet up, you know, so she bought these basically for herself because <laughs> I really pretty much don't use them. Um... Yeah, so these are from 7th Avenue, and of course she drinks coffee, so you pull it out, and it's like a, a mini tray that you could put like your drink on, and it also opens, which I have this cover inside of here that I put on my couch so that when people come over, they don't mess up the couch if they have like their outside clothes on. 
And so 7th Avenue for the for both, I don't know how much she paid, but I'll see if I can find it for you guys in the description. Yeah, I'll see if I can find it for you guys. Um, right here, I just got this bear for my dad for Valentine's Day. Now, this is one thing. Um, let me move back for you guys. Okay, so basically, this window, I'm not sure if I... I'm not sure if I want curtains, so you guys can help me out with that. Like, I'm not sure if it looks fine like the way it is or if I should just add a pop of color in here or I have no idea. So I'm pretty much just trying to figure that out if I should do it. Let me know in the comment box if you guys think I should add up to add some curtains and, you know, just add a little more style to it. Or let me know below in the comment box if you guys think I should just leave it the way it is. So let me back up and show y'all how it looks without so yeah so right here i have this plant let me move so yeah right here i had this plant from amazon it's a five foot tall plant of course it'll be below in the description box um yeah i love it i you pretty much use it for my pictures if i'm in a house i pretty much use it for my pictures when i'm in the house for my business so yeah um i'll show you guys the balcony later because they're playing music right now because yeah they're playing music right now for the residents during this like quarantine so they're outside like playing michael jackson and all of this stuff so that's pretty much pretty uh nice of them that was cool so um here i have my tv stand i got this from target which is a console table it's not really a tv stand so yes yeah, a console table is 30 feet tall i got this for 80 dollars, and i got the tv from best buy which is a 55 inch so let me take you guys i'll take you guys into my bedroom so here is my room i have the balcony of course in my room um this is another TV, which is a 43 inch and another console table because at first this was in a living room and I just ended up, my father was saying, I guess when he comes up and he wants to watch the game, I don't know what it is, but my family just thinks my house should accommodate them. So they buy things and buy things to make them feel more at home, I guess. So my dad talked me into getting a new TV for the living room, which this one was already in there. So I just moved this in my room. And if, at first I had like a smaller TV in here, but after getting this, I pretty much just think he did give me a good idea. Like, you know, that was good advice. So I like that. Um, this console table is from Home Goods, and the TV is from Best Buy 43 inch. This is 28 inches tall and I think nine feet, I mean, nine inches in dimension, I guess. Um, this, I have no idea where I got it from. I had this for about five years, maybe 10 years now. That was from my old house when I was living with my mom. So yeah, it's just a regular fuchsia fan that goes with my fuchsia pillows. Right here, I have my content calendar about everything that's pretty much March for my business, my regular Instagram, my YouTube, my when I'm gonna change my hair. I pretty much plan out my whole entire month and I have like these cute sticky notes. Let me show y'all the sticky notes that I leave under here. So my cute little sticky notes. I got the dry erase markers and stuff. So yeah, I just use it for that. Um, of course, that's the balcony. I have this rug right here from Amazon that my grandmother bought me as well because like I said, I don't know why everything that, you know, they feel, I don't know, they just, I understand they're trying to help me with my apartment, but I'm just like, but uh, of course, everything that they pretty much just helped me with so far, or they pretty much brought or told me to get, I was open to it, so I just ended up getting those. No, actually, she got them for me, but I just ended up putting them down because, you know, sometimes when you get gifts from people, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna put it up, but you don't ever put it up. That be me sometimes. I'm grateful, but that be me sometimes. So I'll, I think she got those from Amazon. So yeah, they're like some fur, little bedroom rugs. Um, for my bed, I actually got my bed with the headboard and stuff from, um, where did I get this from? Bob's Discount Furniture, which was $300. Um, the pillows, the two pink pillows were from Pier 1 
which I got with those, you know, table sets. I mean, not the table sets, but the, the cups. I got these from Pier 1 for $24 each, which was expensive. And let me tell y'all, Pier 1 has some bomb stuff. The only thing about it, it's so expensive, but at the end of the day, it's two pillows. I'll keep them forever or whatever, you know. I love my bed. The bed is called Amalfi Coast, but let me just tell y'all a story. When I was about to get this bed, when I was about to get this bed, I actually was about to get the white one, but I realized I didn't know what kind of couch I wanted. I ended up getting that white one because it was cute, but whatever. But I was about to get a white bed and I realized why would I have white bar stools, white couch, and a white bed? Like that made no sense. So once I seen this, I was just like, okay, let me just switch my order and get this one. So that's what I ended up doing. Um, so yeah, that was $300. The comforters from Target, I think that was $80, which came with the this pillow right here and that pillow and I think the one on my couch. Um, and the regular two pillows in the back was from Walmart. Um, yeah. So let me move right here. Right here I have my flawless. I'll plug it in so you guys can see. I have my flawless sign, which I love so much because when y'all see this in the dark, I wish I could show y'all. Like, I mean, I probably can't include a clip or something like that. But when the lights are off and this light is on, it's really just a vibe. Like, it's such a vibe. Um, but yeah, uh, I just use that if like I'm in a mood. I don't even turn it on every day. Um, so yeah, I don't really turn it on every day. Right here I have, let me move close. I'm just trying to put these slippers on. Oh, I ain't show y'all my wall. I, this wall right here, um, not my favorite wall ever. Like this wall right here, I got it. Well, I got the the paper, the silver paper from Hobby Lobby because, of course, you guys can just tell I like to do DIY. So, you know, do it yourself stuff or well, Austin Craft stuff because I did go to school for drawing, which I already probably told y'all in my last video about why I moved to New York. So, oh, yeah, if you guys didn't know, I actually moved to New York. That's where I live now. But I got this from these paper, well, the paper from Hobby Lobby. And. I cut it out, drew it, cut it out, whatever, and you know, use some tape for it, but I might take it down because it's really not what I, I don't really, I mean, I like it, but not for my room. Like it doesn't fit the the modern kind of whatever I'm trying to go for, but it's just there in the meantime, I probably put like another painting or what else can I put right here? I don't know. Y'all let me know below in the comment box which y'all think I should put right here. Maybe I'll put like a something that goes with fuchsia. Like, you know, to make it seem like my room is painted or something like that. Like a mural or something. I don't know. But let me know what y'all think I should put right there in the comment box. Um. So, yeah, I have that. This right here I got with my bed, the Amalfi Coast. This was $197, so $200 from Bob's Discount Furniture. I have this lamp from Target, which was, I think, $30 or something like that. The remote, of course. Um, this tray that I eat in my room. If I eat in my room, I use this. This was, I think, $30 something dollars from Amazon, but I'll definitely leave this below in the box because let me just tell y'all, it was so hard finding this. And the one that I had at first was, and the one that I had at first wasn't like cute at all. Like I thought it was cute online. When I got it in person, it was, uh, so I'll, yeah. So I'll definitely leave that below for you guys. Um, this, I got it from my grandmother, of course, because she always adds, she always adds little knickknacks to my apartment, which I got this from her as well. Now this right here, what does that say? I don't even know where she got this from y'all, but you see the diagram, you put your phone in it and it like amplifies the sound from your phone, I guess from the shape of it. But I'm gonna ask her where she got this from because when I'm on FaceTime in the bed, when I'm on FaceTime and I'm sitting in the bed or something, I put the phone inside of here so that it can like, you know, amplify like a volume sound like it's going up. And that's like a lifesaver because 
I do not like holding the phone and then you know when the phone is far away from you, you can't hear. So I gotta make sure I'm good. Um, I have my shoe closet and I have my clothes closet. So I'm not gonna show you the closet today because I'll show you guys in a different video, but that's just my clothes and this, is, this here is my coat, my shoes, my purses and my accessories, so everything else. And I'll show you guys in a different video. So going into here, this is my bathroom. Let me close the door. Let me close this door too. Um, so yeah, this is my bathroom that <laughs> the daggone sunlight doesn't reach into. So I always got to use the light. Um, this is the closet for that. I tried to keep the blue vibe going on, 50 shades of blue, because I feel like, I don't know. I just, blue is not my favorite color, but I feel like the bathroom, I just wanted to give like a fresh hotel vibe. Um, yeah, so I love that. I thought blue would have been the perfect color, so I went with the blue. Um, I got these two buckets from Burlington's for $10 each. I got these towels and washcloths. I got the face cloths, the washcloth, well, probably the same thing. And the towels for, actually, I don't even know the price, but they were from Walmart. And this bucket I already had. Now, y'all know, I always got this in my house somewhere. I don't know why I went crazy in Hobby Lobby that day. <laughs> But I guess I'll use that someday or I might give it to somebody. I'm not really sure. But I, I'm thinking when I change my living room, I'll pretty much probably use that. Because I'm thinking I want to change my living room to something more springy now that we're in spring. And y'all going gonna to see. Like now that I got this channel up and going, y'all going to see like how creative this apartment about to be like it's, it's gonna be crazy but of course just me being creative i had my mint blue carpet this is right there because i forgot to send it back to marshall's and <laughs> yeah so i forgot to send it back to marshall's which was wild of me so i don't have anywhere for it to go so i just leave it right there at first it was on top of my toilet but i don't know i feel like i don't know it kind of was about to fall, so I just left it like that. But I got that from Marshall's for $5, and I got the carpet from, well, the rug from Burlington's for 20 something dollars. So, of course, just me being me, I had to go with my hotel vibe and, of course, match my soap to <laughs> my color scheme, which is a little trick if you guys want to, like, spice it up a little bit, add, like, a little hint. But... I got this from, I love this, you guys. Like, this is like my favorite place to be is my bathroom because like the lighting, I ain't show y'all this other light. This light is the one that goes on top of the shower. So I love it. I love it so much. But yeah, so let me hurry up and wrap this up because I know y'all probably like, girl, you talking too much. But yeah, so I got this from Home Goods for $15. Um, I got that inside of the store, so I think they still might have these though, but the company that it's from is called Hotel Balfour. I don't know, but this is kind of heavy. Um, I love that. But yeah, the two jars I got for $5 each, and I filled this up with, um, you know, cotton balls, and this already has, well, this was an empty one, like, you know, like that one, but I put lotion in it because, you know, when you go to hotels, um, I don't know. I just put some lotion in it that I thought was good lotion, like some shea butter because I do like natural stuff. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all, this is the robe or dress. Well, actually it's a dress, but I just wore this robe today from my business shop, ijo.com, if you guys were wondering. So that's for sale. These right here, hand towels. Um, I'm not really sure if I want to keep those because they aren't as chic as the bathroom, but I, from what I've seen so far, those are as chic as it's been getting or that I've been seeing because I had some other ones that just didn't fit the bathroom at all. Like, I need to find something. Really what I think, whoever made this shower curtain, which was from Bed, and, Bed Bath & Beyond, this was $30. Whoever made this shower curtain should have made the, walk, the, the hand towels to go with it because why not? But yeah, so I got that from 
for thirty dollars. Now, my suggestion, if you guys want to get this, um, it does come with the clips. So you guys can just take off the inside part. Um, yeah, you just take off the inside and wash that. But if you guys get this, make sure that your dryer, your washer and dryer or whatever doesn't rip holes into stuff because this is the second one I actually got. So the first one ripped, of course. So I ended up getting this one. And now I'm just like, okay, when I wash it, I just got to be really careful, like maybe tied in a knot or something like that. So yeah, that's that on that. Um, this right here is a hook over the door hanger um, that I got from Burlington's, which says it was $6. Now, and the reason I still have the board on it is because I don't want it to scratch the door, so I just left it like that. But yeah, that was $6, and people just use this when they come over my house to, you know, hang up their stuff. Right here, I have my hamper for when people use like the towels and stuff because for some reason i do not like washing other people's stuff with my stuff um i don't know i'm just a germaphobe or whatever i don't know call me crazy but now this mirror is 70 inches tall and it's 35 inches wide or it might be wider than that but this is from walmart and let me just tell y'all I got this from Walmart. I got this from Walmart for $50. Now, I can leave the link below for you guys. Well, actually I will, but I got this for $50. Online it's like 100 or something like that, but just because it was in store, I don't know, that's probably why it was $50, you know, you couldn't get it for $50 online. I don't know, but I love this mirror. I'm in this mirror all the time like trying to get myself together, but um they did have some silver colors um they had silver black and some other colors like champagne gold but i me being a procrastinator and trying to figure out how i was going to get this in my car and get it up the steps because it is heavy so i ended up missing out on the silver one so i had to go with this one but the brown one but luckily it went with my vanity already so that was a win-win actually that was a lose-win but cool before you guys go i'm going to show you the view so that's why i saved it to last because i'm like cool y'all want to watch this video let me give y'all a little um a little secret or you know some some news i guess i don't know but <laughs> um i'm gonna show y'all the view that i have from my apartment which i love so much which was the reason i fell in love with this apartment because actually let me just stop showing it stop talking to show y'all um it's so nice out this is right here um i do have the pools which is the baby pool the hot tub and the bigger pool um we have like a little gym and stuff in the game room and then i have the view of the water um the hudson and you know the the barbecue stuff the, the fire pit but yeah so Thank you guys. Oh, baby, oh there. Damn, that shit right. Let me go back in here. So, you guys, that concludes my apartment tour. I hope you guys loved everything that's in the apartment. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for the hand towels or if I should get curtains or not. And if I should, which color should I get? Or if you guys think I should change these paintings right here to, I guess, a spring. Like, what kind of thing? what kind of color I should change it to for spring. So, I mean, yeah, so it's a lot of things that's pretty much going on in this apartment. Um, yeah, I love it. Um, I hope you guys loved it as well. So I'm just gonna stop talking because I can do that. I, I'm always rambling. But you guys, thank you so much. I love you guys. See you guys in the next video. Bye.